yes, I really liked that new interface. At least it's going somewhere in the right direction. You have, with that interface called Canvas, a new way to interact with ChatGPT. You see, imagine you are working on a text. So you have the text now in the middle. The chat is in the left side where you can ask your questions. Normally, what we would have is a single column where we give our prompts and we have the replies. If we want to change something, chat GPT is going to give us again the complete text. Now, it's like an editor. You have the text in the middle, you ask questions, there will be some editing, but it's directly done in the text you have in the middle. This is the new interface, which is called Canvas. And you will see that there are also some quick access buttons to which we can do some changes that are the most common in a text. To be able to work with this interface, you need to have here selected among the models ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. And you will see that it's not always enough. OpenAI says that that model is able to detect itself if you need that new user interface. In my case, I had to request it. I had to request, please use the Canvas interface. This new possibility is available to PLUS and team members. It will soon also be available for enterprise users and it will be sooner or later available even in the free mode. Yes, this is now the new Canvas interface. On the left side we recognize the, the chat that we are used to, to have. And here in the center is the text on which we are working. And we have several icons. You see that when I do some changes, I can go back here, I can copy, and here I have a set of predefined functions. Let me first take here this, which could be the title. You see that directly concerning what I highlight or I select, I can ask question to chat GPT change the format, and here I can say, for example, that it's a heading level one. I can also now go back to how it was previously, and at that moment you see that I have a message telling me that I'm watching a previous version. I can restore this version, or I can go back to the latest version, which is what I'm going to do. So the title has come here up again. The text is a riddle. You can go and try to, to solve it. For me, it was a fun to, to write it, and I am the one behind the, the riddle. So, um, there is a text in there. Um, yes, it is this sentence here. You see, you will find me best enjoyed my cool form, although there are those who like me warm, even steaming. I would like to have a slight change on this by, instead of using warm to use hot, to have a more sexual connotation. So, yes, you can appreciate the, the change, but what is important is to see how it works. So we are in the central text. When there are changes, we don't have any more that annoying flow where it is repeating everything. The text is changed where it needs to be changed. Now, with this text, you see here, I can suggest edits. So let's see what he's going to propose me. So, we, we see that uh, the text has moved, 
and it is highlighting the different aspects he is proposing me to perform some changes. We can look at the, the first one and see, and we, we see that the highlight shows us where it will be applied. So I can say here, apply, and we'll see. And here now, we see that it is telling us what it changed, and we see that this is changed. And we could move like that through the different suggestions we have. I think you got it. So now let's go into those function buttons that we have here. We could adjust the lens. This I will let you do. And here there is an interesting one, which is the reading level. So that text is currently the current reading level. And I will lower it. You see that I can go to middle school, I could go to kindergarten, or I could go to high school, college, graduate school, and nothing more than that. So I will go and ask to have the change, the text changed for middle school. We'll see what happens. So it is doing, changing, and editing the, the text. And now we should have something more uh, simple to read. I'm my country pride, all over the world. I'm smooth and comforting with a taste that can keep, be both sweet and strong. I let you read the rest. I agree, it's way easier to read this. Do they find the riddle solution in an easier way? Not sure. Hey, now let's look. It can insert us emojis. So we are going to see how it does it and what it will provide. Hey, that's fast. I have so plenty of them here in the text. If you like this, you will enjoy that button. There is one button that I want to try also. It's that kind of pencil which is add the final polish. So we'll see what it is doing. It is currently editing, and you see, it completely changed the appearance of the, the text. It has highlighted some of the, the points, and I can let you read that riddle, and I hope that you guessed it by now. It's Christian from Vision 6D. For me, it's always a pleasure to share with you some of my experiences and we are living in amazing times. So I'm looking forward to see you in the next module. Bye-bye.